Welcome back to Oracle of Seasons. I should make clear that the boss last time here was named Facade. Kind of silly. And also a bit of name clearing up. They are not gels which I have been killing. They are zoles which split into gels once you cut them in half. These should not be confused with chews from Twilight Princess which do the exact same thing. However, chews are the exact same thing as choo chews from uh, Wind Waker and uh, also Majora's Mask. The two of which look all completely different, but are exactly the same species, I swear. I'm glad we could clear that up. Anyway, you might have heard that tone. That means there's something you should get here. Also, this room... The, the platforming itself is not difficult, but these keys can be really annoying if you're unlucky. I was very lucky there, though. And now we got the boss key, so we can go into the boss room. Now, interesting thing to note about these things, which is very useful. Can't sli slice them with a sword, but boomerang turns them into fairies. No matter what, no matter what your current health is, no matter how many of them are, it will always give you a fairy, and it's so useful. Now, up here is, is kind of an irritating area for me, because you can't slash these guys with a sword, as I may have demonstrated. You have to use bombs. And you pretty much have to wait for them to get into a place where they don't hop away from your explosions. Yeah. God damn. I, I think these guys are like pose voice or something. I remember in like the second dungeon of Link's Awakening, um, there was a place where you had to kill certain enemies in a certain order, and this was one of them. And yeah, as you saw here, slashing these guys to get you bombs, very useful. Oh, now I get lucky there. Once you kill everything, these stop firing. And you can get into this little passageway from several of the other rooms, but it's so much easier this way. Uh, these owl statues, as you may have figured out if you played Link's Awakening... Essentially the same as the owl statues there, except you don't have to find a beak. And this would have been such a perfect time to make a Dodongo dislike smoke reference. But no. I need to take care of these snake ropes. And uh, funny thing about this upcoming boss fight. You don't need your sword at all. Unless you run out of bombs, in which case you can slash the bushes to restock. But, you can actually go with just the power bracelet and bombs. Because here we are against Dodongo. Now, every Dodongo in the series, uh, the Dodongo, Dodongo boss anyway, um, involves throwing bombs into his mouth somehow. Uh, in the original Zelda, you just throw bombs into his mouth and he gets hurt. In Ocarina of Time, you have to slash him with your sword afterwards. Here, you have to throw him into a pit of spikes. Which really is quite easy. If you let him open his mouth and uh, attack, he'll shoot, I think, fireballs or something. I'm usually not retarded enough to let him do that. And also, he can start charging up and dash at you. Which he was starting to do, but he ran into the, sp the spikes, which was stupid of him. And he also takes four hits, which is bizarre. Hey, get down here. One thing I dislike about this fight is that it's basically waiting around for him. I dislike boss fights like that. Also, get out of the way. I attempted this segment earlier. I was standing right there. Fucking annoyed the hell out of me. Luckily, it's not difficult to repeat. And here's our second essence of nature. And there we go. Second dungeon completed. So, yeah, he tells you where the next one is. It's, yeah. I suppose it's useful if you've never played, but 
I remember this like the back of my hand, so not really helpful for me. Anyway, here's our next maple encounter. Um, maple appears once you've killed a certain number of monsters, and since you kill a ton of monsters when you're in a dungeon, uh, she usually appears right after a dungeon. And this is the next part of the trade quest, actually. When you have the Lon Lon egg and you crash into her, she'll want the egg and she will trade something else for it. Again, totally a fair trade. A doll for a giant egg. And really, it's 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 silly. Cause well I don't know, why the hell would anyone want something like that? Well clearly someone must, otherwise there wouldn't be a trade quest. And in order to cross back we actually need to change the season back to winter. Don't jump off. Don't jump off. Thank you. Then we can go this way across the frozen place and we're all good. Now I should point out over here, I believe there is some Gasha area. There we go. And over here, we got a bunch of life likes. I am avoiding those. Because the next dungeon is the one where you absolutely need the shield to progress. Avoid those guys. And here in snow you can see there's a pathway over there, but it doesn't really help me. Since I think it just leads to a heart piece, and that's not my death style, basically. It's taken care of there. I suppose this is a good time to point out uh, how the Meiku tree progresses in size. See, he's much bigger now. I think he had one stage in between, but yeah. And over here, we got Faror. Uh, she's the one who got shafted out of her uh, game that she deserved, honestly. She really doesn't come into play until you start up your linked game, so I won't be covering that currently. As you climb up here, the more essences you get, the higher up it will go, and you'll find a couple of gaseous seeds up there. Again, not really my style. So let's go check on the uh, Oddish, was it? Old kid. And no, I'm not bothering with the ring appraisal yet. Not until I get a ring I actually want to use. Here where we at? Hello. Okay. Kind of random trivia. Anyway, this is the first in several events. Uh, where you essentially have the opportunity to give them rupees. And since I'm generous and I have a lot of money... I'll give them as much as possible whenever I can. Now the one last thing I want to do here is show off what's in that chest. But I can only do that in fall. Actually, one last thing. You see this guy. This is another strange flute. You didn't actually see the first one, but it's from the dancing game. That one will give you uh, another optional partner. But... Uh, if you just play through the game normally, you'll automatically get a partner. So that's really if you just want a choice. Those flowers shoot you. They're mean. There we go. There's fall. So we head down here, and those mushrooms that are basically rock solid in every other season can now be moved, lifted up with the power bracelet. And they kind of bounce around. It's funny. And you get 20 rupees out of it. If you're here in fall anyway, you may as well pick it up. But it's not a huge deal. And that's essentially all I want to do for this segment. I can check on my gasha, she gasha tree, actually. I don't want to start heading till the, to the next dungeon until next segment. Ah! Alright, there's a ring. 
which probably is going to be useless. But whatever, I'm not cons too concerned about that at the time. So, I'll see you guys next time when we start heading to Spool Swamp. See you then.